Indeed, the development of the dentition is complex, as this overview shows. A difference exists in the increase in crown size between the anterior teeth and the molars. In addition, jaw growth varies. Jaw growth is sufficient to allow for the elimination of the overlap and rotations of the deciduous incisors prior to emergence. That is not the case for the permanent incisors that maintain their overlapping position until eruption starts. However, the space in which the overlapping crowns initially were located is sufficiently large to allow a harmonious arrangement of the much smaller roots after eruption is completed. Besides, permanent incisors are labially inclined during their formation, in their eruption, and in their final position. After the emergence of the permanent canines, the roots of the incisors move to the distal and the spaces between the incisors will close. Premolars are located within or at the roots of their predecessors. Normally, sufficient space is available for them to erupt unimpeded. The permanent molars, which have no predecessors, subsequently emerge with an interval of about six years. Growth of the jaws posteriorly provides the space needed for them to form, erupt, and attain a good position in the dental arch.